Hey guys, channel got some offsets, got some offsets TV on the YouTube. We got a from the gallery with for you guys. We've got the ladies with us again. Per your request, we brought them back, and this is my lovely wife Emily. Of course, I am banker. Custom offsets with my lovely girlfriend Taylor. Thanks. That was really nice. <laughs> you did good. You did good. So as you know, we go through and review some of your submissions to the gallery and we'll tell you what we think. We're going to be a little spin on it today. We're going to have the ladies go first and then we will translate. So I think the feedback from you guys last time was you appreciated hearing from the ladies, but maybe that pretty blue thing wasn't exactly the lingo you're used to. So we will then translate that so that you guys understand what it is that they're pointing at and think is really neato, benito. So. Banger's gonna do his best to uh, hold it together and tell you what we're seeing. So our first truck is gonna be a 2014 Ram 2500. It's got 22 by 12 fuel Mavericks, Nitto Ridge Grappler 35, 12 and a half. And it's gonna be lifted on four inches of BDS suspension. So it looks like it's got a two-tone paint to it. And I will let the ladies take it from there. I don't like the two-tone truck. Yeah, I don't I know why I like everything color matched. But you mean like having an aftermarket front bumper color match? Uh, to no. the two tone? No, 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 no. No, like if the truck is black, I like everything black. Yep. Like CO2, everything's white. Your truck, everything's black. Oh, he even has that engine. Look at that. Okay, that's kind of cool how that's color matched. So but. the air intake, and <laughs> what was the other part? I believe there? it was like just a turbo. Yeah. Oh, he's got some banks on it. Oh, okay. So he's got, she's built up a little bit. Okay and it's all paint to match aftermarket for the engine build. But yeah, the two-tone thing, I would totally agree. I am also one of those. I think it's a very classic look, and I think that's why some guys like that. I, on the other hand, am not a fan. He's got a stack on the top, too. That's how you know it's fast. <laughs> yeah. um, the Cummins. <laughs> because, you know, basic. You what do you think of the mirrors, thing? ladies? What do you think of the I mirrors? I hate the mirrors. But why? That's, but that's a Dodge thing. It, you know, all the memes with the moose, moose. <laughs> yeah, you, you've been paying attention. They're pulled out. Very nice. Yeah. yeah I'd, uh, I'd probably get rid of the running boards and uh, do a little chrome delete on there, whether it's paint to match one of the two colors. And he needs to run What do you lights. think of the Suzanne? You haven't said anything. It doesn't bother me as much as okay. it seems to bother everyone else. Here. Yeah. But I think, but you're a classic guy. You like old school stuff, you like classic. Yeah. And I think that's what that is, is that that's kind of a throwback yeah. feel for me. You know what it is? It is the factory giving you your secondary accent color. Yeah. Makes and it easy. maybe it's the factory making that kind of decision for me that I'm not comfortable with. That makes sense. I feel like they should stick to making every vehicle the same and we'll take it from there. So. Um, you got Mavericks, which are, you know, super common. And uh, he went with the Ridge Grapplers, so one of the better tires. So yeah. I'm guessing this truck does a little bit of work. Um, yeah, it's a clean setup. 12 wides on a four inch is definitely a good ratio. Yeah. And, and then the 35s, nice. the wheel wells look pretty, you know, decent. They're not stuffed, but they're also not skating. You ready to rank it? Yes. Remember, it is a one to 10. And on three, you I say, you the, say the number. Don't panic. So one, two, three. Seven. Five. seven. Seven? I said five. I said seven. Oh. I said seven and I don't know why. <laughs> you don't know it's why. It's probably a six for me. I probably I, got excited. I, I, I was didn't so, mess up this time you did. I was so into telling you guys the instructions, I didn't think of my own number. So I think I just said the first number and didn't think about the truck at all. Okay. Not gonna lie. All Ready? Right. Ready yep. for the next one? Our next one's 2017 Ford F-250 Super Duty. It's got some Foses, 24 by 14, negative 73 offset. The Fury Off-Road Country Hunter MT, 40 by 15 and a half, which is an R24. And then the Kelderman Air Suspension. Okay, um, the, these, yep. The no. mud flaps? The mud flaps, no. Yeah. I, I'm guessing he has to have those on because his state requires that, but his truck is beautiful. I like but, it, but I feel like he kind of went with 26s. Those are only 24s, right? Yeah. yeah. So if he has to have the mud minutes. flaps, why did he have to have them for this photo shoot? This isn't just... I'm just guessing. I don't know why anyone would want mud flaps. Well, I mean, they're rock tamers, so if he's pulling a boat or something expensive yeah. behind it... Well, he's not. He's well, not right now, in the I see what you're saying. I don't, he could have taken them off for this. I don't like are those many removable? aftermarket bumpers, and I like it that It should one. be rock tamers. Well, you have a set that we put on CO2 once. 
they usually bolt to the hitch. So I would imagine that they're removable. But Why do you like that bumper? I don't know. That whole truck is very clean. I like that. I would agree. It's really sleek. It's yeah. not the big that bumper. The bubble gum oh, yeah. bumpers. It's a beautiful truck. It is. Yeah, I like it. It's all PTM white. Like everything's whited out, so you know I'm gonna be biased. Except this that is actually the truck I told you to build and you decided to build a black one for Archon. Just saying it's black. It sells better. I don't think the wheel should be any bigger than that. I think those fit perfect. I yeah, 14 lights. Do you think this picture is as high as it can go? A four to six and a it's four to six and then a six to eight, I believe. So that's gotta be options. cranked up to eight, right? It's there. probably at the highest. Um, to be clear in 40s, like yeah. That. yeah. Okay, I think we're ready to roll. You ready? Yep. <laughs> it's not that hard. It is hard when you know what you're talking about. It's hard. One, two, three, nine. nine and a half. What was yours? Nine, nine. Eight. Eight? Why? What are you mad about? Maybe I just can't see it. But a Kelderman is a very expensive kit and there's a lot of components and it looks like he just left it all black. And that kind of makes me sad. Oh, so he had the opportunity to really do some highlight colors. Yes. Did he even do white? And there... I think he did. It appears that that's all white. It would have been a 10, but, hell, but, the but that doesn't look flats. like it is. And he doesn't have any wheel liners. So you're just mad that it's not white. Oh no, that's silver. Yeah, it's yeah. chrome. Oh, it's yeah. chrome. There you go. Well, you got chrome shocks, wheel. which is an option. And I believe the drive shaft is white or polished. You still mad? I, even if it's chrome? I'm less mad. Because it does go with the polished yeah. posts. They are kind of a basic force design. So you were nine and a half. What's the extra I love half? it. The half is just the mud flaps. I'm yep. just really upset that he left those too. on there. I don't know why they're on there. I have a set for CO2, and I think that's the same thing. It's like a um, universal, yep. and you can just take it off. So I made mine super removable, so when I'm pulling a car, if I don't have the shield, I can use them. I, mean, I don't want to cruise around looking like Grandpa pulling the RV. Well, California plates, I'm sure he has to. Oh, that is a big Kelly thing. But I'm, most of those guys make them removable, so that when you go to the photo shoot, you can take them off. Well, you Or can, the clear plexiglass ones, those make me a little less upset. Ask Connor Handley. That's a photographer. Oh, sorry. What hey, does that say? Connor Hanley, can you Furminator. use the Furminator and ask him why he didn't take those mud flaps off? Because they need to get a tan. This one's a 2018 Ford F-250 Super Duty. It's got American truck cuts, 22 by 14, negative 76, and Toyota Open Country MT-37, 13 and a half. And it's on the Magoy suspension lift, eight incher. And she is silver, it appears, with lots of chrome accents. Ladies? It's, I don't like wheels. It's not a sh like. It's not gonna make you turn your head. It's just. Like, what don't you like about the wheels? There. They look like a flower. Like. What kind of flower are you looking at? I don't know. It just. I like the big lip and. Yeah. It's all concave. Yeah. It's definitely a spoke wheel. Not everybody's coming around in that way of thinking yet. And I feel like there's so much more he could do as like a bumper and headlights and maybe a new grille and new mirrors maybe. But I don't know, kind of so he six. should start over. Or start. I mean, it's not bad. Start. Like it's so oh. cool, but like I feel yeah. like he could do way more. I always love the McCoys, the ladder yeah, bars. Yeah, yeah. Those, oh, those are radius arms. Radius arms, ladder bars. I call it being a ladder bar, but it looks like a ladder banger. Let me get you a ladder rack for this thing. <laughs> Let's not ladder all the things. I think it's just really basic. I feel like you put a set of wheels on it and it's kind of let's get it and call it a day. Maybe he did. Yeah. It's a really good lift kit. It's American Trucks is doing well. They're pretty popular wheels. I don't know that that style, that design is overly popular. I think the big oh, concave wheels those. are still kind of like, eh, the fuel assault did well, but it's like, eh. yeah. that's kind of like an SUV look. And I think that's probably what you're reacting to. I think it's a it's good fit. It's an eight inch lift. 22s and 37s. Yeah. Uh, those factory step bars. He jumps and runs. You got in the Super Duty. One Twice. Time. Amp and I was hurt both times. Amp steps drop down. Those stay at that height. Yeah. Well, yeah, but we got in that when it didn't have amp steps. And I got hurt. Yeah, Twice. I got hurt too. See? So this guy's going to get hurt. Maybe he's tall. I didn't have a problem. I pulled a muscle on my back. <laughs> and my neck. My neck and my back. Uh, <laughs> let's, 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 let's judge this one before okay. anybody else gets hurt. And three, 
two, one, five. five. You guys all went five? I said six. Okay, six, six, and five, five. It's it's basic. It's a good start. Yeah, he, I think he did something. I'm glad he did it different because uh, a lot of people do run the same wheels. So it doesn't make me mad that somebody tried something different, but like I would take off the stack, the stock running step tubes, and I would go with amps. But if if step tubes, step tubes, running boards, there's like a hundred words. You know what step tubes? You know hard step tubes? No, I've never. How about ladder that. bars? Any radius signs? Nothing. All right. Oh boy. I'm gonna teach her more truck stuff later. Turns out it's not super duty day. No. So now we have a 2010 Chevy Silverado 1500. It's on American Forces 26 by 14 negative 90s. Fuel off road country hunters again. MT. What did I say? Fuel. Did I? Yeah, you did. I don't know. Feels cool too. But this one happens to be on Fury off road. Can you tell I'm running fuels now? <laughs> like I want everything to be fuel now. Everybody should be. Fury Off-Road Country Hunter MT 37, 13 and a half. And again, it's on a Magoy's nine inch this time. And it's a 2010 Silverado 1500. I love it. I love it. Color that color I don't like is, chrome, uh, but like the accent. Okay, I mean, I like CO2, but like the bumper has the little bit, but it's not like overwhelming. And yeah. I guess the door handles and then the wheels. So you do like chrome. I don't though, but I do like this. I don't like chrome either, and I like this truck. I'm conflicted, ladies. Oh, go it's back. Sharp. Who did this? Are you excited it's about the purple wheel lights? No, I actually saw the, um, the blue spike lugs. lugs. The studs were paint to match. Oh, those were wheel lights. I thought he also had oh, like the face plates gotcha. or something painted on there. I love those wheels. It's probably one of my favorites. It is a beautiful wheel. Yeah. And the little touch of blue in there is sweet. Do we see all the pictures? Not to camera. talk about color to stress all you all, but <laughs> I sorry. Can we go back to that picture? Did he do That's the fine. ladder bars? He didn't. I wish he'd have done the ladder bars. The I'm trying to bits. see if the if the truck is actually that blue or if it's just really well edited. I um, think it's well edited. In that picture, it's not that color at all. Yeah. Yeah, it, they're well edited because I pulled no. the edge of the gallery. We got trick. It's not even that color. So it's. It's a brighter it's blue. It's normal blue. But it's, yeah, it's normal blue. It's like a normal. It's still nice. I don't care. I still like it. Say. Blue and chrome together looks sick. I don't so, know, Banker. That messed with me when you pointed that out. Yeah. I'm I not, think you I should definitely paint again. the truck that color. Because <laughs> that color is hot. Right there. That's gorgeous. That bright. Yes. It's like a. Uh, so there it looks kind of like turquoise. Yeah. yeah. It's just the filter. Okay, yeah. ready to rank it? Mm -hmm. One to 10. One, two, three, nine. nine. I heard us nine, would you? Ten. Ten and eight. Oh, ouch. Why'd you give it an eight? Let's do the you positive one this time. Okay. Who gave it the highest? What'd you give Me. Why? Because it's perfect. Like it's clean. It's like it's simple, but it's I know I keep saying like the other yeah, ones like, need more. It's perfect in front. Okay. What's not perfect? So let's look at this picture right here. Yep. So I love the dual axle dumps with the giant hips. Absolutely love that. Oh, really? you could have done a roll pan bumper. I don't head. like that. Okay. No, because this body style, I have this truck. Okay. The the body bumps in. Oh looks, yeah, yeah. It looks. Goofy. I know exactly what you're talking about. But the plastics could have been painted to match. Yeah. yeah I guess that's right. You can get a chrome yeah. tailgate handle. Yeah. Like. So you just want the finishing. The touches. The finishing touches. The that's mirrors. why you're a nine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I didn't look that much into detail, but I guess you're right. What? Yeah, you guys kind of get distracted by the pretty blue, which isn't even real. Okay, let's go into the next one. Emily's really in love with it. She only gave it an eight, but she can't stop clicking through the pictures because she loves it. Well, I was. No, it's interesting. Banker's going to paint this truck with the blue that it looked like in the rendering tomorrow. 2015 yeah. Chevy Silverado 1500. It's on specialties. The SF003 is 26 by 16, negative 103 offset. It's on Conforcer CF3000. 37 by 13 and a half, and it's got the full throttle suspension, nine inch. I love it. The wheels are a little busy, but I, I don't hate it. And Is I don't know, girl? just because both of these have really nice pictures, they just look better, but, and it's really wide. So it's got the FTS oh, show off. Cool. So show off Motorsports, I'm assuming built it. That's in Modesta. 
Modesto, Modesto, California. It's Billy, right? Yes. Yep. So we're looking at this one now. It's 37 stretch on, so it's 13 and a half stretch on 26 by six. What are you ladies thinking about the wheels and tires? Let's start there. I love there. it. I mean, it is only a nine inch lift, so for 26 is it's a little big, but I don't hate it. A little big? It's a 1500. I don't like, like that the tires stretched. are really stretched. Super stretched. Yeah, 13 and a half I've inch, 37. I don't want to drive. I don't want to drive in 16. that. 16s. Because it's going to be really, you feel every bump. In. It's got to ride like you're running on the wheels, right? I've never been in one that's that stretched and that low profile. I would imagine. I don't know. This is not my style, to say the least. What are you mad about? You mean the wheel and tire setup? Yeah, I mean, so you spend all this money on specialties, and I get it, you want you know, to draw attention to them, but that design is a little wild for me. Yeah. And then the stretch 13 and a half on 16 wides. I get that there's like no tires available in that sizing. Yep. That um, makes sense. But there's literally, I think, two. Like you can buy. I think it's the right now. I think it's the fuels and the compressors. Sure. And I think even the Furies are all sold out in the country. They might be catching up and. When this airs in a few days, it may be caught up, but that's currently what I know. It's just, it's such a cheap tire that blows my mind that I spend all that money. But like, you know why guys do that though? Cause I used to hear that too. And then I realized I do it because you're going to get a new set of wheels next year anyways. So for one year, why would you buy the $3,000 tires that you can only sell for 1500 on Craigslist next summer? So when you're going through them every year, okay. what's the yeah. point of the mileage warranty? What's the point of the better tire? This is purely a show truck. Yeah. Yeah. He's not driving this every day with a nine inch lift and 16 wides. Could be in Cali. Yeah. If he is. This guy's not a party, so maybe. But I, I do think it's a really nice put together truck. I, I think just... it goes to the video we did a little while ago where you can either do the light bars and the lights and all this stuff, or you can focus on getting the wheels you want and doing the big, clean, expensive lift kit. And I think this one just matches the current style of spending a little bit more money on both. Sure. I would, so his taillights are super red and that drives me bonkers. Yeah. So and, then, and then he has this out. red, no, yeah. the K. Check out your orange markers. Yeah, all, all those little things that are, relatively cheap he didn't do so that's the wheels i love the wheels How about are the really sport cool. mirrors do you guys like that it still has the little mirrors no i don't like that mirrors. either so this seems like if he's just starting this is perfect wheels tire suspension and now it's time to like banker said on the last one get into the details get into the headlight build get into the mirrors get into the um i can't remember what i just said because i'm aging rapidly you said headlights, mirrors. And oh, taillights. Yeah. Taillight build, dirt brake light. Plain truck though. It I is really like it. Definitely like the direction it's going. You used to have one just like that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it was the work truck edition of it. <laughs> Three years older. Lowered on 20 lowers. Like, it was also black in a Chevy. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and rank it before I feel like I don't know what I'm talking about. Last time you went one, two, three. Three, you... two, one, seven. Seven. Oh, we. Wow. Can we redo that? Go, she was in the interrupting count. Yeah. Three, two, one, six, Nine. seven. Wow. Nine? I don't know if it's just because the pictures are like professionally taken, but. Do you like that one better than the blue one? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, think I what, like black and white trucks. I think what this proves is that even those of us that kind of agree on styles will rank the same truck very differently and that's why you should always build your truck for yourself and not anybody else because everyone that looks at it has a different opinion i honestly thought we were going to be close together and they were going to be all over the place but we're actually all all over the place that is another episode of from the gallery hope you guys enjoyed let us know in the comments what else you want to see and if we should let the ladies come back again because you brought them back a second time peace